Okay, so we got back from Windrock and uh, the 150 go-kart actually um, started burning a lot of oil at Windrock. Basically, we was burning a quart of oil every hour and these uh, 150s only hold about a quart of oil. So, uh, it is my daughter's go-kart. She's been without it for a while because uh, before the meetup, it set out back, uh, messed up, something was wrong with it. It kind of worked its own problem out. I don't know what it was. It was just, it did not want to idle no matter what we did. Hogfoot Larry. So of course we contacted Go Power Sports and they sent us a new battery and a full rebuild for 150s. If you didn't know, Go Power Sports does have the full rebuild, the cylinders, the heads, everything for a 150 to rebuild it. And also a new torque converter because at the end of the meetup, uh, the go-kart would not pull up a hill whatsoever it barely would pull me up just the smallest incline so uh, we're going to throw a new battery on it we're going to see how bad it's smoking now that the meetup's over with and uh, see how rough it's running we're going to get it in the garage and go ahead and show you how easy it is to rebuild one of these gy6 150s so let's do it This red wire went to our coil uh, or performance CDI, so it has to have a key switch hot. And uh, I don't really know why, I haven't ever really looked it up, but it must be to provide it with a little bit more power because it does give a harder spark. We just unplug this main harness. Now that's all of our plugs that went to the front. The only other thing we have left is the actual brake lines and the throttle cable. Should be the last thing to unhook. Oh, and the shifter. We have two shifter cables right here, and then we can roll this whole thing out after taking the last bolts from the swing arm off. First, we need to remove the plastic shroud, valve cover, spark plug wire, exhaust, and carburetor.
rotate the engine around to get it top dead center. The lines and holes on the cam should line up with the sides of the engine. Remove the four nuts and take out the rockers. Remove the time and chain tensioner. Tilt the cam to the side to remove it. After taking out the two side bolts, pull the head from the jug. You can see all the buildup from the bad rings. Slide out the jug from the block in the piston. Pop the C-clip out and slide the wrist pin out to remove the piston. All the parts for this build are from GoPowerSports.com. We're going with a few performance parts like an A12 cam and a ported head to get a little bit more power out of this 150 GY6. Check out all the links in the video's description and make sure to tell them Redbeard sent you. First we need to check our ring gap. Slide the ring into the head and square it up with the piston. I'm checking with a 7 thousandths feeler gauge and these rings fall within the tolerance. We can now install our rings onto our piston. First we need to install the expander ring and then the oil rings on each side of the expander ring. Then second compression ring with the letter or number facing up and last a top compression ring with a number or letter facing up. Make sure to orientate your openings of the rings 120 degrees apart and then oil them before installing them into the jug. We need to face the eye in on the piston towards the tensioner hole in the head. The jug is tapered so you will not have to use a ring compressor to install the piston. Slide the piston into the jug while pushing the rings in to help guide it into the jug. Install one of the wrist pin clips into the piston. Pull the wrist pin and slide it into the side of the piston. 
I like to coat my gaskets with high tack before installing them onto the block. Slide the jug onto the block while guiding the piston onto the rod. Slide the wrist pin through the rod and install the other wrist pin clip. Next install the head gasket and insert the dowels on the top right and bottom left head stud. Slide in the cam chain guide and install the head. Pull and install the cam and rockers while making sure to line up the dots on the side of the cam with the head. Place the washers flat side towards the rockers and thread on the nuts. Torque down to 12 foot pounds. Install the time and chain tensioner and then remove the clip holding the tensioner preloaded and install the Phillips head screw. We can now replace all the ducts back onto the block. We are going with an aluminum intake with a bigger bore than the stock one as well as a Go Power Sports 24mm flat slide Makuni on this build. To finish off this build we are installing the NGK spark plug, new ignition cool and a performance CDI. Last we need to adjust our lash to four thousandths on both valves. Loosen up the lock nut and get the lash set snug on the feeler gauge. Once set we can tighten the lock nut down and install the valve cover. Guys, thank you so much for watching this engine rebuild. Uh, 150ccs are one of the easiest engines to rebuild. You can rebuild one in about 30 minutes with little tools. And make sure to go check out the links where you can get all the parts used in today's video in the video's description. We did use a performance uh, carburetor from Go Power Sports, and the head we had ported was from Lansdowne Family Racing. He does a lot of ATV style heads, and he did us up this real nice 150 head. And then we did the A12 cam from eBay. So uh, it'll get us a little bit more power, and I can't wait to ride this thing in the next episode we're going to do front hydraulic disc brakes on her cart because it only come with the rear disc brakes and we're also going to be doing a performance torque converter so stay tuned for that we're going to end this series uh, very soon we'll be doing that next video and then you'll get to see us go take it out for a spin we absolutely love the 150s we get a lot of people asking us uh, what engine they should swap out on their 150 go-kart and we love ours it's been we've had it for four years and just beat on it and uh, this thing has lasted so uh hope you liked today's video comment down below what you think we should do to this cart later uh, if we should do a big bore or engine swap it but uh thank you guys for watching we love you and god bless